What's up guys and welcome back. So today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the absolute best case to use for vlogging with the GoPro Hero 5, 6 or 7. Now, if you watch a previous video to this, I show you how it is possible to use a USB Type-C extension cable with your mic adapter for your GoPro. And in that video, I do a brief comparison to the, the typical aluminium case with the 52mm lens for the GoPro Hero 7. Now remember that even though I say 7, it's possible to use the 4, the 5, 6 and the 7. 4, they are the same. Even though I'm only talking about the GoPro Hero 7 in my case because it's the camera I use, I also wanted to point out that the case also works for the 5 and the 6 as well. So keep that in mind. Now, like I was saying, I did a previous video to this comparing the aluminium case with the 52mm lens, comparing it to this Ulanzi V2 case that I discovered. Now, there are two main differences in these two cases, okay? Now, the case that everybody talks about, this aluminium case, yes, it is a great case, I will admit that. However, you still have the main problem of how to mount your mic adapter. Now, you'll see it all over YouTube, people are mounting it here, there, everywhere, and you know, they're using adhesive, or they're using some, some kind of strap, however, in order to overcome that, Ulanzi have come out with this case here. Okay, now even though I do a brief description, a brief comparison in my other video, I wanted to solely focus on this case because after using it for a while, I have to admit that even though this case is aluminium and this is plastic, the Ulanzi V2 is plastic, it is a much better case overall, especially if you are a vlogger who likes to move around a lot and you know, take the camera on the go. This has got to be the best case to use for vlogging. And I'll tell you why. Not only does it have the most important aspect, which is a microphone adapter compartment, it also has a hot shoe. Meaning that it will give you the option of mounting either a flashlight or a microphone. And that's basically all you need in order to vlog on the go. So for all you vloggers out there who like to use the GoPro on the move and be able to attach a microphone at the same time or even a flashlight, then this is the absolute best case to use. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is that apart from the fact that it's made of all plastic, it's still built very well and it's built perfectly to hold the GoPro snug inside the case. Now you'll see some cases where when you put the GoPro into it, it doesn't hold it in firm and snug and hug the, the, the GoPro. Whereas this actually still does that. So it makes it an amazing case to use. Now I'll just show you how you actually set it all up. It's just mind blowing. Okay, so you have your back case like any other uh, GoPro case, except there is a little tab here on the side that you press on and it will allow you to pull the back case off. And then you just grab your GoPro and slide it in like so. And then you grab your back case and you slide it back in. And just to point out that on the back case, there's these two bars here. So when you slide it, when you slide the back case back on, the two bars here on the back case, that's what holds the GoPro in snug so that it doesn't shake around. And it actually does a really good job of holding the GoPro in firm and snug. So you just grab the case. It only goes in one way. So you only have to follow how the tabs are and then just slide it back on. And then that's it. Now, if you listen carefully, I don't know if you hear it properly. As I'm shaking the camera, you cannot hear any play at all. So you're re rest assured that the camera is in there really snug and fitted, which is what you definitely want. So it eliminates the chances of getting that little bit of background noise of rattling and so forth. Okay, and then the most standout feature of this case is the fact that it has a microphone adapter port. Now look at this guys, this is absolutely amazing. Check this out. This is the microphone adapter and now I'm going to put it into the case and show you how it sits in it. So you just push the cable through first and it only it goes in from one side which is the side with the bigger opening and then you just slide it on in 
and then look at that guys look at that look at it how it holds it in I mean you just can't beat that comparing it to the aluminium case where you have to find a way to mount the microphone adapter with this case everything is ready for you to just put together and and shoot and that's what's so amazing about this case whereas the other cases you just have to find a way to mount it look it may not be a problem to most of you uh, hardcore GoPro users because you would have used your GoPro for a long time now so you probably have already discovered a way to mount your mic adapter however for us newbies out there who are just starting to get into the GoPro scene this is definitely a case that you know you gotta have I mean it's just a must have in my personal opinion even for all you hardcore GoPro users I mean how can you beat the fact that it has its own microphone adapter port I mean you know it's just priceless okay so from here how you would mount the cable is you just have to flex it a certain way so that it can plug into the mic port and then this is how you would plug it in so that it would still leave your your micro HDMI port free obviously you can mount it the other way as well but just just to show you that you can mount it either way you can either do it that way or you can turn it around and do it this way because obviously you're not going to use the um, HDMI port while you're filming however I do use it sometimes in order to make sure I'm getting the perfect frame so I would always mount it the other way which is like this now from here I have to firstly point out that this is probably the only disadvantage that I can find with this case now even though it's made of full plastic I don't really see that as a disadvantage because you're not really going to drop your GoPro case you know like you're not really going to try and drop it I mean yes you're going to fumble here and there but even then this case is still built pretty well in the sense where even if you drop it it's not going to harm your camera and the plastic is going to take a lot of the damage per se and take up a lot of the shock so rest assured that your camera is still going to be in tip-top condition and it's still going to survive the drop however like I said you're not really going to try and drop your GoPro so you know you don't really have to worry about that unless you're really clumsy and even then like I said at least your camera is still going to survive the drop now getting back to it so from here you have your other hot shoe mount, cold shoe mount, whichever it is and you can mount your microphone directly to it okay now you may not notice but you can actually pull off this mount like so so it's basically like a little extension but however I've noticed that if you don't leave this little mount inside there it <clears throat> it affects the your shot in the sense where this little fur ball just sits in the frame in the picture frame so it's better to leave it on there so that it lifts it just high enough in order to capture whatever you're shooting and leave the fur from your microphone from your shotgun microphone out of the picture frame however you could always just pull off the fur and shoot it like that if you're inside and you're not outside there's not a lot of wind so that because that's what this is for it's your wind muff so that you can eliminate as much wind noise as possible when you're filming outside so if you're filming inside then by all means you could just take it off and use it like that but most of the time I leave it on because it also eliminates any other distortion or any other um, any other noise that you can get from just tapping the microphone and then from here you would simply just plug in your 3.5 mil jack into the GoPro mic adapter and you're pretty much good to go if I'm in a place where I don't have um, enough lighting then I would like to I like to add my little light and then use it there in place of the mic adapter but the best thing with this little light is that it has three hot shoe mounts as well therefore allowing you to mount three other accessories or another light if you need more light and then from here you would mount your mic any way you please you can either mount it on the sides like so or you could mount it straight on top however I do like to mount it on the side but it's all up to you it's it's all about personal preference and I would just mount it on the side here 
just to make it a bit more equal, you know, like just so it evens out a bit. And then this is how I would vlog with it if I wanted to use a light. However, if I didn't want to use a light, then I would simply remove the light and then mount my microphone directly to the case like so and you're good to go and then the case doesn't come with any uh, mount for a tripod however it is your typical GoPro mount so you would basically just use your typical three bar mount with a quarter inch uh, thread and then just attach it to the case like so and then it's totally up to you what kind of uh, Try what kind of stand you want to use. Now, personally for me, I use this tiny little stand, which only costs about $3, maybe even less, I think. And then I just attach this to the case, to the stand, and then you're good to go. Now, look at that, guys. Is that not the most portable and quick and easy case to use with a microphone adapter port? That is the one thing that... I can't get over for this case the fact that it has a microphone adapter port because you, as you all know to this day you have not st you, you still have not seen a aluminium case or any other case for that matter that has its own microphone adapter port so in comparison to both I mean even though this is made of full aluminium it still loses in the sense where you have to try and mount your microphone adapter somewhere and that is the main contributing factor to why this case has got to be the number one vlogging case for all YouTube vloggers or any vlogger for that matter and the fact that it only costs 12 to 15 dollars depending on where you bought it now personally for me I bought this off AliExpress and it only costed me 12 dollars and 50 cents roughly around there 13 dollars almost so you know, for something that is so cheap, I don't see how you can pass up something this good. I mean, these aluminium cases can cost you from anywhere from $15 to $50, depending on who you buy it from and where you buy it. Whereas, even though that's the same with this case, after searching on AliExpress, I found that the cheapest you can find this case is around that $13 mark. However, some people will sell it for a bit more. And then I saw it on eBay where someone was trying to sell it for $40. Now, they're probably just trying to, you know, make their profit from it. However, I will leave a link in the description below to where you can find this case so that you can buy it for a really cheap price like I did. Okay, so there's really not much more to it than that. I mean, the only disadvantage that I can point out with this case is the fact that you have to flex the microphone adapter cable in order to plug into the GoPro a little bit so that it will fit snug. I mean, if only GoPro made a microphone adapter with a much longer uh, cable for, your, for the mic adapter, that way we would be able to use it in different ways rather than needing to plug it in a certain way. And that's basically it, guys. You know, this, has, this is the number one case right now that I, I strongly recommend for any vlogger to be using I mean the fact that it's made of plastic makes it light as well and the f and the fact it has a cold shoe mount is even better allowing you to attach your light microphone etc whatever the case may be but the one thing that you cannot pass up the one thing that stands out more than anything else is that it has a microphone adapter port so if you're looking for the best vlogging setup, don't go past this Ulanzi V2 case. It is an absolute steal and it is lightweight, portable, durable, everything you need it to be and it works just as well as any other case. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is that the reason why this case is also highly praised is also because it has a interchangeable lens however if you look all over ebay and anywhere else now people have already started to make lenses that will interchange with the gopro lens allowing you to change the filter therefore getting either a cpl filter an nd filter or all sorts of different filters that you can place onto the GoPro in order to give you a variety of different shots. So, 
if you're worried about not being able to change out the lens, rest assured that now you can find a lens pack with seven different types of lenses in order to get the best shot possible and find the best lighting possible to shoot with. Because I, tr I believe that finding the correct lens to shoot with is also just as important because the lens also helps a lot with your lighting. Depending on your environment, sometimes it is actually a better idea to use a different type of lens in order to get the best shot possible. And with that said, getting back to the the mic adapter cord and the way it plugs in. If you watch my other video about how to use a USB Type-C extension cable with your GoPro, I actually show you how to use a little extension cable like this with your GoPro adapter in order to solve the issue of being worried about how the cable flexes and how much it flexes. Because as I state in that video, I go on about how I don't like to flex the cable that much to a certain extent because over time I honestly believe that if you keep flexing your cable that way due to the, how it's plugged in it can damage your connection to a certain extent however if you use a type C extension cable let me show you what I mean so if I was, if I was to use this and plug it in now and then plug it into the mic adapter as you can see, it's a much better connection and it will eliminate the stress that you get from having to flex the cable the way you do in order to plug it into the GoPro. However, even though this is a much better setup, I have to point out that if you want to use your GoPro with a Type-C extension cable, then make sure you watch my other video where I go through the specific steps that you need to follow in order to use a Type-C extension cable with your GoPro's mic adapter. Now, it's not as simple as plugging it in and then recording. You have to follow specific steps in order to make it work. So be sure to watch that video and I will show you exactly how to use a Type-C USB extension with your GoPro's mic adapter. And that's basically it guys, that's all I wanted to show you today. I mean, this case is absolutely amazing. So if you want to get a case like this and you know, you're interested in vlogging like this, then I will definitely leave a link in the description below and click on it and find out where you can get a case just like this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, helps you find a better case for your vlogging setup and as always, Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like if you want and share and I'll see you guys in the next video.